Welcome to Living Supernaturally, our daily devotion. We hope you are having a good day and we hope that you uh, find this time in the Word um, fruitful. Today we are looking at some of the claims for resurrection. Um, all of us know that the birth of the Lord Jesus and the life of the Lord Jesus, the life that He lived, the teachings that He taught um, is a historical fact. But when it comes to the resurrection, people have problems. But there's enough and more evidence to point to the claim for resurrection, to point to the fact that resurrection, yes, is a reality. Much like the birth and the life of the Lord Jesus, the resurrection of the Lord Jesus is also is a historical fact. So today we're going to look at some of these claims. Um, we see that the the appearance of the Lord Jesus was to many people after the resurrection. There were many witnesses. Um, in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, Paul writes and he says, you know, this is what he says, 1 Corinthians 15 verses 3 to 8. For I delivered to you, first of all, that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures and that he was seen by Cephas and then by the twelve. After that, he was seen by over 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain to the present, but some have fallen asleep. After that, he was seen by James, then by all the apostles, then last of all, he was seen by me also, as by one born out of due time. So we see that the that the Apostle Paul lists down all these witnesses who saw the Lord Jesus after he was resurrected from the dead. He talks about Cephas, Peter and John who ran to the tomb while well, they were witnesses. The, all the other apostles, when the Lord appeared to them, spoke to them and uh, they were witnesses. And he talks about 500 others in Jerusalem uh, and they were witnesses too. Now, if by chance, if they were not witnesses, then they could have easily contradicted the claims of the resurrection. Because they were alive at that time when the message was being preached that the Lord is risen again. So they could have come and, um, and they could have very easily contradicted and said, no, it is not true. But they were witnesses to the resurrection and therefore they went ahead and preached the good news that the Lord is risen again. In John chapter 7, verses 3 to 5, it reads like this, His brothers therefore said to him, Depart from here and go into Judea, that your disciples also may see the works that you are doing. For no one does anything in secret, while he himself seeks to be known openly. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. Verse 5, For even his brothers did not believe him. So this is the uh, account that we have uh, of his brothers, the brothers of the Lord, who actually told him that, why don't you go and show yourself openly? It was during the time of the feast. And it says here that even his brothers did not believe the claims of the Lord. But we see something else in Acts chapter 1 and verse 14. When everybody, when everybody gathered together and continued in prayer with one accord, with, with the women the Mary, uh, and Mary, the mother of Jesus. And it says here, and with his brothers. This is Acts chapter 1 and verse 14. The brothers were also there participating, waiting uh, for the baptism of the Holy Spirit, which means they believed, they came to believe in the Lord Jesus post the resurrection. So today, be established in this truth. Be established in this fact. That the Lord is risen indeed and he's alive and he loves us and he wants to intervene in our lives shall we pray father we thank you we thank you that you are alive and the words that you speak they are spirit and life and father god we thank you that we can talk to you anytime and whatever need that we might have lord whatever burdens that we might have we can draw near to you god and lord because you are alive Lord, we come alive in you as we received you as Lord and Savior. We thank you that we are born again, that our spirits can commune with you, God. We thank you, Lord. 
we come at this day into your mighty hands and we pray that we will re- live victoriously even as you lead us in triumph in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org